This is the test rig to evaluate the 70cm uh, band uh, preamp. Uh, so we're using a uh, Nano VNA. Uh, the channel 0 port will eject a uh, signal via this 20dB attenuator into the antenna port on the preamp. The preamp will be powered up. We should see some gain in relation to the frequent, various frequencies and that will then be evaluated by the Nano VNA um, via the channel 1 port. Now uh, the 20dB attenuator was uh, put in because an initial um, evaluation of the preamp had it topping out at around 20dB again. Reasonably respectable but um, <clears throat> not what it's meant to be. It's meant to be up towards the 30 mark and it was a fairly flat response um, above 20 dB which sort of indicated that uh, something was topping out. I had actually thought it was the uh, VNA uh, but fairly quickly concluded it was the uh, preamp itself being overloaded. Uh, so once it reached saturation um, it just couldn't get any more gain. So we weakened the signal um, by putting the uh, 20 dB attenuator in there, giving the preamp a nice uh, weak signal to uh, amplify, and uh, then we get a, uh, a fairly meaningful response. Now the other thing that's very important um, in this setup is that the um, um, VNA be calibrated. Uh, so what we want to do is we want to carry it um, calibrate out, zero out all the characteristics of the uh, test leads, uh, the attenuator, we're going to get all the uh, reactants out uh, so that all we're looking at is um, the um, gain at the end of the two coaxes going in and out of the uh, preamp. So that's a very critical thing. Uh, what we should see once that's um, calibrated is that um, when these two are uh, connected together, we should see a flat 0 dB across the um, spectrum we're measuring and um, and then once powered up the uh, amplifier will uh, show the uh, true um, gain and performance. So that's the setup. Okay, we've got the uh, line looped through for calibration. Save. Set the frequency range to start. One hundred megahertz. Stop. Eight hundred megahertz. So uh, that's pretty successful. We've got uh, the zero dB line, uh, reasonably flat, from 100 megahertz to 800. We're just going to calibrate the display. scale probably pretty good so we've got uh, 10 dB per increment 10 20 30 40 minus 10 minus 20 minus 30 minus 40. We move across there, it's more or less zero. Okay, now we break the link and not unexpectedly it drops down to uh, minus a lot. 
connecting the preamp into the circuit. Okay, so the normal configuration for the preamp is that the relays are switched straight through. So we're still essentially seeing 0 dB in the unpowered state. A few little ripples at each end. Um, some of these I put down to the um, link between the um, two relays. Uh, probably ha has uh, some reflections. Uh, there's also some other components in there for um, the um, DC isolation and RF, so a few capacitors and inductors, so they may be having a little bit of an effect on that. But more or less flat, and it's flat uh, where we need it, which is around the, you know, 450-odd meg mark. So we're going to power the amplifier up. The 12 volts is applied. There we have it. We've got uh, yeah, 28, very close to 29 dB, which is exactly what the uh, spec sheet says it should be. And you know, I'm fairly happy with it, um, having peaked at around 436 megahertz, which is almost where we want it exactly. It is where we want it exactly. So we can zoom in a bit and uh, have a look at this. I'll just set the frequency range from, say, start 350 megahertz. Stop. Oh, I don't know. 500. So now we get a really good idea of what the uh, amplifier looks at at the uh, desired frequency. Uh, so around the peak at 440 and we we'll roll off 1 dB to 450 and prop another dB down to 420 so that's a pretty good uh, band pass. We would have measured it at 3 dB, we'd well outside the 70 centimeter band. Let's just take it back out to the 100 meg to 800 meg range. And the good thing is we're getting no gain around 440 to 450. Uh, in fact, we've got a bit of a loss, which is good. I think that's about um, what's specified, around about that minus, you know, 8, 9 dB. Um, so this is the 2 meter band at 145 megahertz. Um, if these are operated uh, at the same time, you'll get some third harmonics. So we, we definitely don't want that uh, getting into the receiver. So having the uh, you know difference there and some attenuation at two meters is very good. Uh, go up to the higher frequencies. Uh, pretty quickly drops off. Um, yeah, seven seven hundred odd meg. We're getting you know minus twenty dB. That's also pretty good. Uh, yeah, I'm happy with that as a valuation. So we've got uh, the amplifier functioning pretty normally. Now I'm just I'm just going to. Uh, uh, adjust the gain to see what range we have. 
You'll see right there on the peak. The screwdriver is in the gain adjustment, so turn the gain down. Not a huge amount of movement, but I think that's as per the spec. So it uh, is between, you know, 19 odd dB and uh, about 29. I think that's the spec. Um, 29 seems like quite a bit of gain. I probably will back it off a bit, but at the moment um, we'll leave it there. And uh, that's very successful. I'm, I'm extremely happy with that. As um, uh, pretty much working first up with very minimal adjustment. I will uh, adjust the uh, frequency um, filter at the front end. So if I adjust that, and we're moving up in frequency. Oh, but not, not oh yeah. And bring it back. Yeah, so we can we can really move the gain peak around. Make sure the upper limit. Yeah, that's uh, quite an interesting upper limit. The uh, UHF CB band in Australia uh, is around about there, so you could use this preamp uh, on that band if you wanted to. But that's not where we want it. We want it at... Uh, There we go. I'm just going to quickly uh, look a bit closer to make sure we peak that at the correct spot. So we're going to start again at uh, uh, 350 meg, stop 500 meg. I'm going to peak it in the uh, uh, yeah, I'll peak it around four thirty seven. That's uh, somewhat close to the area of interest. bit finicky but not too bad I mean that's not that's yeah right on the money there all right very happy with that not going to play with it any further I regard that as now an operational amplifier